Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be colouring in uh, Ava Brown's Kawaii Girls Grayscale uh, while I do Chelsea J. Murray colourings uh, All About Me tag. So this is quite like the TMI tag but with more in-depth stuff. So I'm going to be colouring in, let me get to it, this one of the Mermaid. Um, I just need to get a piece of paper to put behind it. I've got tons of paper here because I've got loads of whips <laughs> that I haven't finished. So I'm just going to nick a piece of paper from behind one of them and I'll, I'll put it back later. So we're going to do this one here. So I've got my phone because the questions are on there. I've got my water and we've got a little mermaid. Excuse me. So uh, I think there's like, is it 30? Yeah, 30. Uh, and the first one is, what is your favourite quality about yourself? Now, hmm, quality about yourself, I've got lots of quality. I think I'm a very loving, kind and caring person. I'm very empathetic with people. Um, that's why I'm good at my job. Um, so I think that is probably my best quality. I, I will happily listen to somebody and try and help them the best I can uh, with any problems. Um, or if they don't want help, they just need somebody to talk to. I am happy to be there and listen. Um, and I've got friends that will listen to me. So I, I like to pay it forward and help people out whenever I can. Um, but yeah, I think it's my kindness, uh, loving nature and, and my empathy. So um, all my friends will tell you that. So, and even my boss will tell you that I'm very, very sympathetic and empathetic with people when I'm dealing with the cli clients and customers that contact us in my job. So I would say that. Number two, what is your favorite physical feature about yourself? Now I'm gonna sound just like Chelsea here because again, I have to say my favorite physical feature is my eyes. I think I've got beautiful eyes. They are a very um, unusual shade of green they're quite bright green at some points, almost like a cat's eyes at some point. And I love having green eyes because it, it is quite an unusual colour. So they say only 2% of the population have green eyes, apparently. That's what they say. I do not know if that is true, but hey, I'm happy to go with it. <laughs> I, I do love my eyes. You know, and when I put, when I do makeup, I, I really do try and accentuate them with a, a smoky look, uh, not too thick and heavy, obviously because I'm getting old. So, but still, I look a lot younger than I, I I am when I wear makeup. Funnily enough, apart from now, my hair is grey and it's getting grey and starting to give it away. <laughs> I'm I'm not that young little chicken anymore. <laughs> uh, but it comes for sore, so I don't worry. But I used to think, oh, when I got grey the first time, I was like, oh my god, no quick get straight down the hairdressers get it tied out and now I'm like oh well whatever <laughs> we don't care I'd rather I'd rather just look like save the money but yeah my eyes anyway what is your favorite thing to do for fun I have got lots of favorite things I like to do for fun not just coloring so I'm not going to say coloring it is one of my favorite things to do but instead of coloring I am going to say one of my favorite things to do is let me just find another colour. Oh, there's too much. I can't pick. Um, I've got reading, photography. Too many. Too many to name. I've got to be honest. Too many. So, um, I would say... Um, yeah. Uh, oh, other than colouring, which I do a lot of, I like to read. I like to take photographs. I like to play with cameras and get them working and I love to watch movies so it's all those things I've got to be honest it's all those things four what is your favorite color well here it is it's red uh, red has always been my favorite color color of love and passion and danger and I, I, it's always been my favorite color red I've always adored it it's just so I, I just oh it's just me red I love to wear red lipstick it's also um, a very popular color from the 1950s red lipstick so uh, you know yeah, Mansfield Marilyn Mamie Van Doren and all that lot they would have worn the, the old red lipstick I love it who is your favorite person okay it's Jennifer 
I'm not gonna lie, it's my little girl. She's so loving and so sweet. And, um, you know, she, she knows she's upset you or something like that. She'll be like, are you happy? Are you happy? And you go, yeah, I'm happy. And she's like, and then, she, you know, you go, I love you. And she'll love you too. Or she'll go, I love you, mummy. And it's just the most adorable thing. And I love daddy and I love Steve. Now, Steve's my dad, so it's her granddad. But sometimes she calls him dad. Because obviously I call him dad and she copies everything I do. Uh, sometimes she calls him granddad, but because my mum calls him Steve, she also calls him Steve, which is short for Stephen. But yeah, my favourite person's Jennifer. Who would you love to spend time with the most? Well, it's going to be Paul and Jennifer, obviously, because my boyfriend and my, my little girl are the most important people in my life. Other than, other than those two, it would be, be my mum and dad. Yeah, they are my family, and I know I'm lucky to still have my parents. My dad's 80. He'll be 81 in December. My mum is 77. I know how lucky I am. A lot of my friends have been losing their parents recently. Um, so I know I'm so lucky to have both my parents still with me. Um, so yeah. What is your favourite thing to talk about? Oh God, again, I could talk about anything forever. I mean, books, yeah. Movies, Marilyn Monroe, I talk about Jack the Ripper a lot. I just love learning things and if I learn something I think is interesting I'll talk about it for hours. Um, it would have used to have been it definitely Marilyn. Now I think it's just old movies in general. So, oh I've just lost the questions, hang on. <laughs> it's gone on to Facebook for some reason. Um, yeah, I, I'd say it's just old movies or, and movies in general. I, I like to uh, sit there and watch a film and like say, think, tell stories about the stars or something that might have happened on the set and things like that so I do love I love old movies so I'd say it's talking about movies really which is why I'm thinking well I want to start a channel just on movies um cool well not just on movies beyond about entertainment so um it'll be what was the old vinyl vlog which was my uh record channel um I'm just not buying records I'm not listening to them but I am still watching movies <coughs> so I'm going to call it Holly for Hollywood and beyond so it's about all things movies theatre concerts entertainment records CDs DVDs I can put lots of different kinds of hauls on there it's just a more broader approach to just doing records um we haven't listened to what we've got and I got given a load of a day but yeah I'd say it's going to be movies particularly uh, classic movies uh, what brings you peace one of the things I, I like to do and I find it so peaceful is to sit in the garden in the evening uh, with a glass of wine or a glass of squash or a glass of cola it doesn't have to be alcoholic but a glass of something and just sit out and listen to the the birds there's a little sort of like miniature farm behind our house and you can hear the animals and the birds and the cockerel and it can be so peaceful other than that i would say just like when i just stopped doing anything i do so much i don't have time to be bored that when i do stop and it's just silence that is just so peaceful. I, I, I don't feel bored and I don't feel restless. I just feel completely at peace. And so it's just when I just stop. It doesn't happen very often, so I t when I do, I enjoy it. And that's why I said go out and sit outside and just enjoy the fresh air. Even if it's the middle of winter, as long as it's not wet outside, I'll, I'll bundle up and go and sit out there because I love being outside. What or who do you think about to smile so what or who do you think about and makes you smile um well again i mean obviously jennifer and paul make me smile um the thought of um a new marilyn book makes me smile lots of things can make me smile um character in a tv show from the 80s makes me smile um when i was a kid there was a tv program and, and you will know the film and there it's been rebooted as a tv series as well now called the equalizer and it starred Edward Woodward and there was a man in it named Mickey Costmeyer who was played by an actor named Keith Zabaker. He is still going strong. Um, he's a lot older now. Um, he's got, what, his 60s I guess? Yeah, 60s heading towards it. He was born in 59 if I remember rightly. I'm sure that was right. And I, I mean I'm friends with him on Facebook funnily enough. <laughs> 
which I never thought I would have been friends with him on, on, you know obviously in the 80s we didn't have the internet so it was a bizarre feeling to know that this guy who I really liked and I mean I, mean, I, mean, I fancied him I'm not gonna lie I fancied the pants off of him um, it makes me smile I had a dream about him the other night now I wasn't even thinking about him but suddenly I had a dream about him and I woke up smiling um, how often do you think about it well Jennifer every day uh, obviously um, Keith and Mickey, the character, it's usually the character I dream about, not the man. Um, only when I, only when I see a post from him or when I see, you know, or when I have a dream like that, but, you know. Um, if you had a superpower, what would it be? I don't know. If I had a superpower. I I think I would like to be if I could have any kind of superpower, I would like the ability to heal people. Whether it's because they're sad or unhappy or because they're physically hurt. You know, just to be able to uh touch somebody with your hands and heal them to me that would be a great superpower to have and it, you know the name would just be the healer I would love to do that um what do you think your best quality so again that's going like back to number one again I think it's my empathy it can be so strong sometimes that I do uh pick up the way people are feeling and it's it's horrible sometimes I had a friend who's now sadly passed and her daughter was sick and they didn't know what was wrong with her and she was undergoing tests and they thought it might have been cancer and um she was i was talking to her one day and i said to her now we were very very close at this point she said to me i said to her i don't know i really don't know how you're feeling i don't know i don't i can't imagine how you're feeling um it's got you know it's it's got to be horrific what you're feeling i can't imagine it and she said and you know exactly how I'm feeling and I could feel it and I still can. It's one of the reasons I like to spend I've done it again, time by myself because I don't like going out in crowded spaces because sometimes the emotions you can feel radiating off people can be so, so overwhelming and you know, I know when someone's sad. I can tell by looking at them if they're sad or if they're happy. I mean, I know some of it's body language uh, and, and some of it's you know the expression on their face as well but sometimes I can see people smiling and I look at them and I think they're not happy they're not smiling inside there's something wrong um, and again I think that's why I, I would like to be a, able to heal people because I hate the thought of pain and, and suffering and I try not to watch too much news I watch it in the morning before I go to work and that's it. I try not to read too much because I get so hurt and upset by it. And I think that's probably... I think that is my my best quality. Um, what do you think is your worst, worst quality? I think that is the fact that I do want to be on my own a lot of the time. It's very hard. I've got a wonderful boyfriend and I've got a gorgeous daughter and yet sometimes I just need to be away from them because of the overwhelming emotions, especially from a three-year-old. Um, and the, the, you know, when she's asleep and she's so peaceful, as long as she's not having night terrors or a nightmare and, she's, and, and, I, can, and I think now she's happy. I can feel it radiating off of her. And, and then in the mornings, I, when I wake her up, I know if it's going to be a good day or not. I know she's going to be happy to go to an nursery or she's going to say, I don't want to go and kick off. I can, I can tell. Um, but because of that, because it's overwhelming, I do tend to isolate myself. I will make excuses not to go to parties or out with people or to see people um, because I don't want to be in a situation where something happens to somebody or somebody comes into a room and they're hurting so badly that I just want to burst into tears and cry. Um, let's have a look. What colour hair do you have? Naturally it is a 
brown colour with red low lights naturally which is now going grey I'll admit probably from years of dyeing um, so half of it's that colour and then the bottom half because I haven't coloured it for a long time is red um, I literally have not had my hair done since February 2020 um, I had it done a month before we went into lockdown and I haven't been since um, obviously because they were closed for a long time and it's not that I don't want to have my hair done because I love it it's one of my favourite things uh, again it's a nice way of relaxing for me I really relax um, but because I can't bear the thought of sitting there for three hours with a mask on I can manage I, I have people that work in shops and businesses and have to wear it constantly do it and nurse, doctors and nurses I really feel for them I couldn't do it I mean I'm asthmatic anyway so I struggle with a mask but I put up with it for the sake of keeping people safe um, yeah so it's just I just can't face it. I'll probably have it cut when I get back from holiday. Um, when we go and when we come back, I'm, I'll see about booking in with my hairdresser Dale. Just because he'll say, I've seen you for so long, and I'll be like, Yeah. I said, I just can't bear the thought of, I just want to have it coloured. I don't want to sit here for three hours with my mask on. I don't know how you guys cope. I said, With my asthma and everything, I couldn't cope with it. And especially when the salon gets quite warm, so. That is the mess of my hair, and it also needs cutting because it's getting splints. And the, the screen's gone off. Let me just pop it back on. This is quite fun, actually. Um, what is your favourite hobby? Again, I've got too many. Um, I'm going to go with colouring at the moment, just simply because it is. I do it to relax. It makes me feel happy. I could just, I could, if I had the time, I'd sit and colour all day. I don't because I've got to look after Jennifer, which is a pleasure because I love her. And she likes to colour too, so sometimes we'll sit and colour together, which makes my day. I love sitting and colouring with her. Um, but yeah, I could colour all day, not probably every day, but I could certainly sit there and have a day of just colouring. And in fact, when I've got my fortnight off soon, so I'm a week away and a week at home, I might spend one morning when she's at nursery just colouring all morning. We'll have to see. Uh, how often do you do it is number 17 every day if I can there may be an odd day when I don't feel like it but nine times out of ten it is every day at the moment even if it's only just for 10 minutes out in the garden because it's summer and if it's even if it's not bright and sunny and it's grey and overcast as long as it's not raining I'll quite happily sit out there and colour uh, what is your favourite thing to buy either movies or colouring books and Marilyn Monroe books. See, I, I can't choose. It's just too much. So if we say um, Marilyn Monroe books, I have over 300. I don't know how many. I haven't counted them for a while. There is a new one coming out. I'm waiting for that to arrive. Movies, again, probably about 200. And colouring books, around 300. <laughs> They're my favourite things to buy. Uh, and how many I have? 20. What is your favourite book? 19 was how many do you have? What is your favourite part of your life? favourite part of my life? Well it's got to be the part of my life that I spend with Jennifer and Paul. Um, it might sound twee and sugary but it is. I mean when I'm away from Jennifer I, 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 I'm not me. There's part of me missing. Do you know what I mean? It's like, like somebody's cut off my right arm when Jennifer's not with me. Um, sometimes when she's here I yeah I get frustrated and uh, fed up not bored and not angry because she's wanting me to change what she's watching on the tv all the time or or something like that but generally yeah my favorite part of my life is my daughter 21 what do you struggle with most in life getting up in the morning i hate that <laughs> no i do hate getting up in the morning i am more of a staying up all night person and going to bed in the morning person um I don't know. I, I guess being sociable. I don't like people. <laughs> I don't like. Don't like everyone. I don't like. It's not like I don't like individual people. I like people as individuals. So, for instance, if I was to meet you and I knew you were in the street, I'd be quite happy to have a cup of tea with you and a chat. I just don't like people in general. So, so for instance, the, the overwhelming general public. Um, and I think I struggle with that. So, going to a party, I hate meeting new people freaks me out big time and um, when I started doing um, the theatre at the Dolmen I'd wanted to, to join something for a very long time 
and I was petrified and it took me months and I, I did email them and I said I was interested and then I let it go and then I had an email saying that we were looking for chorus members for this come along if you're interested and I went I was bloody terrified but do you know what best thing I ever did I had a brilliant time with them so yeah that was the that's what I struggle with the most what or who makes you feel better when you're sad? Well, obviously, Jennifer. If I'm sad, she'll go, are you sad, Mummy? I'm going, a bit sad. Don't be sad. And then she'll, like, she'll smile and she'll laugh and she'll get me something, like a packet of crisps or uh, uh, pass me a drink from the table or say, should we colour? Should we colour, Mummy? And I'm like, all right, then. And then a bit later on, she's like, are you happy now? And I'm like, I'm happy now. So, yeah, Jennifer makes me feel better. Uh, what is your favourite feel-good TV show or movie? It would be... I don't watch a lot of TV show, I've got to be honest. Um, if it was a TV show, I'd say it was Call the Midwife. I, I totally love Call the Midwife. I love Doctor Who, but it's not kind of... doesn't make me... Unless it's classic Who, it doesn't make me feel particularly good. But Call the Midwife, it makes me laugh, it makes me cry, it makes me angry, it makes me happy. It's a brilliant show. And for movie, it would be the Marin film Gentleman for Blondes. It's the first Marin film I ever saw and I love it. I just love to sit there and watch it. And there was a point in my life where I watched it every single day for a couple of years as well. 24, what is your favourite time of day? Well, I'm just looking for a colour. I won't be a second. No problem with these Ohu Fu markers, they are my favourite. But they are in a thin thing where they're not in any way, shape or form where you can find the flipping one you want. I know it's in it because I used it the other day. Where's it gone? Not any of the others. I can't find it. I'll have to use a different one. It's in here somewhere. Oh, let's use that one instead. I can see that one. I know that one's there. just seen it. There it is. Sorry about that. What was I talking about? What is your favourite time of day? I like dusk. So when it's just getting dark and it's cooling down the sun's going down and if it's been a beautiful day you've got beautiful orange streaks in the sky a few clouds oh it's beautiful so i'd say dusk uh, the time of what they call in photography magic hour that's my favorite time of day uh 25 are you a morning person or a nighttime person a nighttime person um, I do get very, very tired, um, I will admit, but if I can get away with it, I would rather... Hmm, I'm missing swatch card number two. Um, I would rather sleep during the day. I sleep better during the day than I do at night. Um, and I don't know why. Oh, yeah, that's a nice colour. Um, but that's, that's just me. I do. I sleep better uh, in the day. And I, so I prefer to be up at night. Um, always have, ever since I was little, I was always awake at night and slept during the day. Much, much to my mother's annoyance. Uh, 26, what's your favourite room in the house? I don't really have a favourite room. I mean, obviously my, my office stroke colouring room, stroke spare room where I sleep if I'm up late like today doing this um, so I don't disturb Paul because he'll be out and he's really tired because he had his uh, second Covid jab. I do like it in here, I'm surrounded by my colouring stuff and all my my books, my library, um, like I said my 300 Marilyn books plus my 100 or so other books on Hollywood, my um, ancient Egypt books, my Ripper books, my general uh, non-fiction is all in this room. Like I said, all my colourings here, so if I can't sleep, I can either grab a book or I can colour. And I must admit, yes, I do actually work in this room. It is my office as well. It's where I work my day job at the moment. Um, you'd think I'd be sick of this room, but I'm not. It's, you know, I've got a desk which is where I am now. And I will show you that in a video in the future. When I've tidied up a bit, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Probably film that when I'm on holiday. And then, 
you'd think I'd get sick of it but I, I don't because like I said I sit, sit, sit at my desk when I'm making videos um, and obviously when I'm working but generally if I'm colouring or reading I'll be in the bed or lying on the bed trying to get a bit of peace with the light on and it's just nice I just find it so comforting being surrounded by all these books I'm not one of these minimalist people I like having things around me um, I'm not a hoarder by any shape of things I've got rid of tons of stuff and I'm still getting rid of, of things like books but I just love having things around me and that's it 27 how are you feeling right now do you know what I'm actually feeling really quite calm I'm very tired because this is Thursday night when I'm filming this and it's been a very long and busy week but to be fair I'm feeling very relaxed very calm considering I had to take Paul to Newbridge to get his jab and then we went to McDonald's because Jennifer wanted one and there's the problem is next to where the vaccination centre is in Newbridge there's actually McDonald's but everybody was going there so I said I'm not waiting in that queue come on we'll go to the McDonald's by us and we went there was hardly any there so it was a much better idea and I feel quite calm and relaxed and I know I'm pretty much it's a bit warm but I'm going to get to sleep fairly simply easily tonight so I'm, I'm quite happy with that yeah I'm very, feeling very 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 calm and relaxed so yeah 28 who did you enjoy sorry who do you want to know these things about you anyone who's interested really if you're interested great thanks for sticking around if you're not and you haven't well you won't know this so you know so if if you're interested in me as a person you would be one of the people who watch the vlogs as well so you probably know me quite well and 30 what would you change about your world if you could there's not a lot I would change I'd like to be thinner <laughs> but, but that's down to me that's not down to anybody else um what would I change about my world no nope, don't know I'd like a, a bigger house um I'd like a million pounds nothing really. I, I, all right the one thing I would change if I could is to have my brothers back from New Zealand that's that's it that's it I have my brothers back from New Zealand they both live in New Zealand um Richard my older brother lives on an island just off the coast of Auckland called Wahiki Island though he is looking to move um into the country on the main island soon and my brother Chris my younger brother only by 18 months um he lives in Auckland and he works for New Zealand and he, he, uh, the first time in 10 years he didn't come back was last year because of Covid. I would love to have them both back even if it's only for a month or two. I mean they were both planning to come back last year and obviously it didn't happen and it was very gutting. Um, so that's it that's the 30 questions um so if you, I, i'm not going to tag anybody but if you want to do it just do it it's a fun one to do and it's nice to learn about the people in the coloring community um we will carry on with this picture in a coloring chat rather than mythomorphia because that is just so big i'm just going to do it when i feel like it hit every now and again um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this and i will see you all very very soon uh, as we're coming up to the end of the month and it's soon going to be time for the wrap-up videos so i'll see you soon bye